Hey everybody, welcome to Lord Saunders Smokehouse. I am Lord Saunders and today we're gonna to be working on two racks of ribs on the Old Country Barbecue Pits Gravity Fed Charcoal Smoker. It's the first cook I'm doing on there. Ribs are one of my favorite things to eat and they're a really great medium to try out new smokers and new equipment. So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to give it a shot and we'll see how this baby does. I'm really hoping to get some good flavors out of it. All right, so we've got the pit running at about 275. I'll put these racks of ribs on the center rack uh, to get that nice even cooking. That's kind of our control. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Now we do know that it's a little bit hotter on this side. So I will put the more meaty parts uh, of the ribs toward, like the thicker part of the ribs towards the, uh, toward the charcoal chamber. And uh, we'll check back in about two hours and see if we need to spray or if we need to do anything like that. Uh, other than that, let's get them on and start cooking. Okay, so we're back. It's been a little over two and a half hours. Um, the temperature has actually been um, kind of like on a steady incline from 230 to about 250, 260. Um, this gauge right here is basically useless. Um, the center grate temperature that I have is uh, like 245 and this is showing uh, 175. So I, I just got to get a different stem for this. It's not the right one. No problem, we'll fix that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the ribs. And uh, I know that initially I'd said 275, but I kind of just wanted to see what the pit was gonna do. I have it mostly wide open on the ball valve. Um, so let's check out the ribs, see how they're doing. We'll see um, what we need to do, if we need to spray, and uh, if we are going to um, increase the temperature. So I probably will, I'll try to like ramp it up. I'll open up the firebox door, um, not only to add additional wood chunks, but to also like ramp up that temperature and then we can kind of maintain it once it get past that. So let's see what we got. Wow, that's not what I was expecting. Not at all. All right, take a look at this. This is really interesting. A lot of really great color. We'll try to show you here. So look at that overall mahogany color, which I think just looks really great. Oh man, that looks good. And then if you look back here, look at that fat. Now this one I did not score. Uh, it's a Joe Yim classic right there, so not score it. Um, so I'm gonna check and see how that looks on the other one, which I did score. But overall, like this is feeling nice. It's feeling really great. Great color. I'm very, very impressed with this so far. I do want to check out the back. Um, this rack was the closest to the wall like this. And I think I do want to spray a little bit because it looks amazing. Look at that. God, the color. These are some thick ribs. Um, this, I think I do want to spray just because it was back by the... I think it was getting a little hotter uh, back there. But even still, like... This is still juicy and tender. So um, I will put this back. I will rotate these just because I'm here and I've got the box open. So I'm gonna put uh, this rack towards the back. I'm gonna put this rack towards the front. We're gonna spray and then we will uh, close it back up. All right, since we're here, let's go ahead and take a temp of these guys. 173, 163, 173, I'm gonna go about 30, 45 more minutes, get them up to about 185, and then we will wrap these bad boys and finish out the cook. These things look incredible, and this is after only three hours. So this is gonna be an awesome set of ribs. I can already tell. There's so much juice. This is great. Let's get this closed and finished off. All right, it's been about 40 more minutes um, after we checked on them. These things are looking great. Um, they're super tender. They're temping at like 185-ish. It's right in the slot. So I wanna go ahead and get them out, wrap them. We'll finish them off in there. Uh, again, 275-ish is the temperature that I'm going for. Uh, since it's my first cook, I'm still getting a hang of the dialing it, dialing it in um, as far as temperature-wise. But honestly, it's going very well. The temperatures are very, very smoothly moving into you know, either direction that you're going, either trying to uh, heat it up or slow it down. Um, there's no wild temp spikes, which is great. Um, so this is going to be great. Uh, this is probably the world's worst tin foil that I have here. So there's a ton of it, um, but we're going to make it work. We're going to get these wrapped up and we're going to finish them on the, uh, on the old gravity fed here. So our first cook's going well so far. 
So let's get these ribs going, back on the pit, finish them. It'll take maybe an hour tops. Um, I, it may, maybe not even that long. I'll check it in about 30 minutes because this thing is cooking so efficiently and then we're gonna put it into some tin foil. So I'm gonna glove up and get to it. All right, it's been about 45 minutes, so let's check the temperature. I did realize halfway through that I forgot to uh, close down the ball vent a little bit. Uh, so this thing uh, ramped up. These things are cooking now. Uh, good temperature. I mean, the box is regulating itself perfectly. So uh, let's go ahead and see if these ribs are done. They are, I have a feeling they will be. They were cooked a little bit hotter than I probably needed it to. But let's see what we get. 205. Yeah, these guys are done. Maybe even a little too done. Now, being 208 or so, that's not a problem. Uh, so we'll get these guys out. We'll let them rest and then we'll slice in. So we'll be back in about an hour after they've cooled and rested a little bit. All right, I gotta say it, I'm a believer. That was an awesome experience. I loved the way the ribs came out. They were tender and juicy. They had a good structure to the bite when you took a bite. Um, I had a great smoke ring on there. I, I think from what I'd seen before, I was not anticipating such a good smoke ring uh, and good wood smoky flavor. I know all the long-term charcoal guys are like, yeah, no, duh, we've been winning competitions because it's so good with the long-time charcoal. So uh, that's awesome, and I'm glad to now kind of be a part of that family too. Um, so overall, I've just been blown away from the ease of the cook. Um, I could do some uh, temperature dialing in, but that's no problem. It's all barbecue, it's all fun. Um, so I really look forward to getting a brisket on there and really seeing like what it can do with that long cook with a very, very difficult piece of meat. So I really look forward to putting it through its paces and seeing what I can get on there, how much food I can get in there, how it's gonna cook, all that kind of stuff. But Thanks for joining us. You can find us at lawrenceondersmokehouse.com where we will ship Central Texas barbecue right to you wherever you are, anywhere in the contiguous 48, of course. And uh, thanks for joining us. If you have any tips or tricks you'd like to share, I'd love to hear them. So uh, hit it down in the comment and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks again.